How capable were 19th century gunpowder rockets? Many people probably think that rockets are a relatively new and advanced concept, but rockets have been around since the 10th century in China. Much of the first rockets were used to propel arrows, but would soon be used for other weapons, such as rockets, and would become more advanced, like mobile artillery created by the Koreans in the 1600s, and iron shells by the Indians in the 18th century. Rockets would spread into the Middle East and into Europe, where the next breed of rockets would come into play. William Concrete would be one of these pioneers with development of a new motor, propellant, and body design. He would first demonstrate this new rocket in 1805, and the concept would prove useful in the Napoleonic Wars. A major problem for these rockets was that they were very inaccurate and swayed often when airborne. Alexander Demkevich Zyzaka would become the next pioneer when he developed the gunpowder rocket, a way for them to have a synchronizing launch platform that would fire multiple rockets at a time, and new tactics for these rockets in combat. Rockets, though, still had a reoccurring problem. William Hill improved on these greatly by adjusting the direction of thrust so that the rockets would spin. This same spinning idea is the same way rifles use spin for the bullet, and is why they are way more accurate compared to your average musket. He also improved travel distance by removing the launch stick with decreased friction. So to conclude, these gunpowder rockets were very primitive, didn't have too much of a range, inconsistent and inaccurate, but for the time, they actually performed pretty well and would lead to the creation of many dedicated rocket units and military artillery and a catalyst for what would become modern rocketry. In coming time, the task of a rocket would change from artillery to long-range ballistics and space travel. That's it for now though, folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a comment about what you would like to see next. Remember to like and subscribe and join us next time as we explore further into modern rockets.